Yes, please. Um, last um, last week, you mentioned that many uh, people on this earth plane will be departing within the uh, Sparks lifetime. That's a lot of people. <laughs> and so I was wondering if, uh, if you could tell us, if at all possible, how this will happen. Mm. This is an excellent question, our friend. Hmm. Humanity must come together or you will be whittled down. We have expressed this before. Your planet will evolve. This will happen. If humanity does not evolve with your planet, humanity will be left behind. This does not mean there are some humans who say, oh, I am evolved. I am in the planet in this frequency. And other humans who say we got left behind. We're stuck in a terrible place. No. What it means is if you do not fit with the frequency, then you will not exist. As we have said, it was our hope that this coronavirus, which is a response to human destruction of your planet, a natural response of the planet to what you have done to, not you specifically, but humanity. If humanity had come together to heal this crisis and then go forward together to heal all the crises, each of which has been created by humanity, then it would have been easy for humanity to evolve with your population intact. However, hmm, humanity chose to resist healing. Therefore, many humans became ill and died. Until humanity comes together to right the wrongs, to heal the planet, to share the resources, you will always be behind the eight ball for the planet is more powerful than you. This is not saying the planet has a vendetta against humanity. Of course not. Such thing is silly. Your planet wishes for you to evolve with it. However, you must evolve with it or it, you will be shaken off. Eventually, enough people will die that those remaining will evolve. This is not just from one illness, for there has been harm caused by humans in every category of existence. The climate change, the destruction of the environment, the pollutants, the starvation, the poor living environments, lack of medicine, lack of education, lack of work, the starvation, there's the fires, the earthquakes. There are so many ways that humanity is trying to force the planet to exist a certain way but the planet will not, so humanity will suffer. When humanity comes together to heal the planet, then you will see the magic.
Until then, you are in a karmic cycle that you must complete. Do you understand? This is a very serious subject. Now, yes, and yes, I'm sorry. I wanted to ask, um, have you seen any progress since the start of coronavirus in humanity coming together? We are seeing individuals evolving themselves. We are seeing pockets of humanity coming together. We have great hopes for your future. Your next year will dictate a great deal. There are several things you must understand. There is a future that is set. It will happen. There is a present that is in distress. It must evolve. What do you think will happen with so many angry maniacs who have these big bombs? What do you think will happen with all of the big businesses cutting their corners and not maintaining safety protocols. You have seen the electric grid in your state and your south. There are nuclear power plants. There are oils. There are many things that are not properly maintained. These are disasters one step away, each of whom will impact your environment, and human existence. When you are living an unaccountable life, things will not go well. Humanity must become accountable. If you do not see your environment becoming accountable, then think, how are you one to be accountable? Is your heart in a good place? Are you a kind person? Are you involved with creating a healthier planet? This may happen on many levels. It may happen hmm, by standing beside your brothers and sisters to sh share your voice, or it may happen by working on energy grids in your in your planet with the great healers. It may happen in so many ways. It may happen with merely being pure within yourself, karmically clear. The more karmically clear humans who appear on your planet, the more the overall karma becomes lightened. You are releasing stones from the wagon so that it may go up the hill. The brighter your light can shine, the more you inspire others to shine their light brightly. This is as important as anything. To truly love yourself is one of the greatest gifts you can give to humanity. Even if you do not see anyone, it is a great gift.